Holiday on Ibiza. This is great, mainly because the island has more than 80 beautiful beaches. Here from the plain we have a look on Ibiza, the capital, with the three kilometer long Playa de Bossa, very famous. And there's also Ses Figuretes and Talamanca, the beaches, but we didn't like them so much. Uh, we were there because they were close to our hotel, but the water not so clear and a lot of algae on the beach. So we prefer to rent the car and go discover. Want to ride with me? Yeah, natuurlijk. Kom ik mee. This, for example, is Ses Salinas, very famous with the jet set, but not so crowded because we were there in May. Hi, Calador. So we drive on, discover on with our car, and we drive towards the famous island rock. Es Vedra, and um, there we go, we find Cala de Hort, the parking place very crowded, might let you think that down on the beach it is very, very crowded, we find, uh, find uh, not so many people as expected, fine sand, a couple of restaurants, and then in the back, a beautiful sight of Es Vedra, it must be beautiful with sunset here as well. And the water not so clear, hence only place five on our list. As said, a couple of restaurants there and a beautiful view, but at the end of the day you have to walk the mountain up again. Number four, Cala de Sierra. In the north, not far away from Portinax, quite a drive, um, hence not many people there. We, fi we find Cala d'Ensera, a little bay, and I show you some drone images. We see a ruin, and on the right, a little bay with some fishermen's huts. The ruin uh, should have been become a, a luxurious hotel, but in '83. The architect, Mr. Sert, died and then the whole project was stopped. Now, graffiti artists have taken over. Very interesting to see, but take care if you walk there. But uh, future unknown. We have to walk 100 meters more downwards to the beach, the little beach. There was nothing happening because it was clouded. Fishermen's huts, a little restaurant and some bats were there. Uh, perfect to go there with your lovely lady and uh, because it's not crowded at all. In the water we had a little plague of the moth stinger. I am standing in between of them because I am not allergic to anything at all as far as I know of but take care with these purple jellyfish you might be allergic and then uh, the problems might be quite severe you can touch them like this no problem number three Cala Salada yeah a little bit north of San Antoni in the west uh, there is Cala Salara, so we had to drive through the inland. This is Cala Salara, a little bit bigger and broad and so on, but most people walk over these rocks to the little sister beach. It is quite a climb, so you have to be fit. And that there on the left is Cala Saladeta. So here we end up at Cala Salara. And Cala Salara has a little restaurant, Cala Saladeta has not, so you need to bring your picnic stuff with you. But um, we went there and back and then I decided to snorkel. It was crystal clear water. I saw some beautiful fish and anemones. Take care with those enemies, uh, anemones over there. Also there you can be allergic, so don't touch them please and you see the white sand and how clear the water is. There are also some uh, fields of seagrass 
and very uncommon very strange one octopus was very interested in me and yeah then he should be shown to Aliona so um, I took him with me for one minute Aliona totally surprised of course and more uh, 20 more people on the beach as well and then don't worry I have released this beautiful octopus yeah so what a surprise that was you don't expect that when snorkeling and there on the left we see the little restaurant that we visited as well a little bit more in the south is Cala Gracioneta also a little small intimate beach in a bay uh, but with a little bit less clear water so here the restaurant Number two, Cala Comte. Totally in the west we have Cala Comte or Cala Conta with two beaches. This is the little one in the bay. We come back there later and there you see the big restaurant next to the bigger beach with sand dunes and some islands in front of the coast and so on. And crystal crystal clear water. We really felt like in the Caribbean for the first time. Uh, the wind was strong and the waves were big and the uh, beach guards on Ibiza they are not used to uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> waves so they didn't let anybody swim unfortunately so they had an easy day I suspect that was the reason there were girls that were quite brutal and even stole the food of Aliona this is in the bay where we could swim then uh, the water a lot more quiet it is actually a nude beach but most people had their clothes on and there was a little bar which gave the whole atmosphere a little bit uh, like a hippie atmosphere so i like this very much uh, you will see we stay there till sunset here i am at the bar and we also saw a photo session with some models we see that more often on ibiza so um, quite beloved by photographers beautiful to see the sunset here yeah our absolute number one is not on Ibiza itself but on the little sister island Formentera so we have to go on a big ferry and here we arrive at the harbor of Formentera where many people rent uh, a scooter or some bikes or it's really a small island but we decided to walk towards the end beach you will see that later the famous beach of Formentera oh no Formentera sorry <laughs> yeah it's like the Caribbean now and then in a little ri river that we passed on the way we saw this uh, cormorant this bird trying to catch one of these fishes it's unbelievable but uh, while we were standing there a couple of minutes he didn't catch one of them shoveling is pretty smart don't you think and then we went uh, from the street towards the bay feet in the water and in the sand beautiful crystal clear water very popular with uh, boats as well. Aliona is begeistered. Yeah, Aliona is impressed. She wanted to stop already. I'm happy here and so on. But I was knowing, I knew what was waiting at the end of her walk. It's more than an hour walk. Here then the final destination with some drone images. We see here a very narrow beach with uh, the sea on the left and on, on, uh, on the right. The wind and the waves coming from the right uh, so there you can play in the waves on the left side the sea was very quiet so there you can swim or snorkel not so many rocks but still the snorkeling was very interesting over there you can see how popular it is even when far away it's still pretty crowded but you have enough room so Formentera is a real must if you go to Ibiza I would say so also here the girls you can play with so take some extra bread for the girls and you have some extra fun over there ah. 
You can also walk a little bit further and see some nice plants or some nice sceneries to make uh, pictures. So Formentera definitely our number one. Yeah. 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 Number one? Number one. <laughs> But go discover the other 75 beaches as well and see you in the next Zoo Wild YouTube. Till then.